Hello everyone, in this video I would like to briefly go over and just provide some of my own commentary slash opinion on the current extraordinary events that's going on in France. Now I say extraordinary not in the sense that this is something unforeseen or even something that hasn't happened before. It has and it's been quite like it is now. But it's extraordinary in the sense that I'm always taken aback by how the media uh, and the establishment entities um, that more or less run these societies cover these sorts of things, how they spin it to the public. And as always, the reaction from these particular governments when the mass of people tend to act out in a way that the French people currently are. So if you aren't aware, there's been this big debacle in France that didn't recently start up. It's been going on for some time now where the uh, people that are in power in that country have been trying to uh, raise the retirement age, uh, particularly from 62, which it is now, to 64. Now, just to give you a little bit of backstory on this without going too far deep into it, um, hopefully you'll do that on your own. But this has happened several times in the past where a government, particularly Mr. Emmanuel Macron's, the one that he leads, has tried to embark on such an endeavor like raising the retirement age. And he's been stopped by the people who are not afraid whatsoever to show their outrage, their disagreement, uh, the horror that they put onto display to really, um, show these individuals that would like to make their life much more difficult that they don't appreciate them doing so and so every time that's happened you get the reaction from the people which is obviously um uh, uh nasty and something that they don't like and it should be so because you can't disrespect a mass of people like this by trying to take away uh benefits that they've won of course, to the chagrin of the people that are currently trying to take them away. And so we get what we got. And this time, it seems like Mr. Macron and his uh, um, austerity boosters, that's a word that's used mostly in Europe. We don't really hear that all that much here in the States, which is, of course, where this video is being made. But it, his austerity boosters and, and around him, and of course him himself, are seemingly trying to go forward with this um, with no support from the people. They have no support. He's barely survived uh, a vote of no confidence. People are calling for him to resign left and right. Uh, he no longer has his majority in his government. Um, France has a different political system uh, uh, for, uh, than we have here in the United States. In their government, they have to... Uh, ally with different ideological people in order to push things through. They don't have this two-party domination such as what we have here in the United States. They actually value uh, a bit more democracy and uh, uh, choice, but that's not really, um, you know, explicit to see in this case as we have Mr. Macron acting much like a dictator or, dare I say, a king pushing forward with this uh, ridiculous, erroneous uh, policy, um, basically with no approval from anyone except for himself and uh, the extremely rich people and powerful people that support him. But um, uh, before I bring this thing to a close and give my closing remarks on this, I just want to give you a glimpse of what's going on right now in France. Take a look, please. <laughs>
that you have seen that, I would like to just say that those videos should strike no one as bizarre or peculiar or odd, you know, one that may not be in tune, uh, you know, with these sorts of things. And ask himself, why is this the reaction uh, by simply raising the retirement age um, by two years? Now, if you have to ask yourself that question, I have news for you. There's a lot more wrong with you and that you need to figure out than just this, you know, trying to figure out why they're upset about raising the retirement age. These are benefits, once again, that have been fought for through generations that the French, that the French people have uh, uh, really benefited from, deservingly so, because they fought for and won these, as I said previously, to the chagrin of the people that are trying to take them away. And these reactions, these protests, these uh, um, allying of the people to try to force this to a stop is 100% granted and necessary. And what I would like to speak about here in closing is the reaction or lack thereof from Western media, from the media here in this country of America uh, that don't like to shine a light on things like this when they happen because it may give other people ideas or a sense of awareness. See, the thing with this raising of the retirement age is they don't want to come up with the money to put towards, uh, uh, um, you know, whether it be the pensions uh, that these people pour money into, these people meaning the working people, by taxing those that actually have the money or relocating funds, let's say, from war or whatever else. No, they say, well... Instead of making, uh, and this is just a scenario, um, the younger people pay more for uh, uh, um, the retirement funds that the older people use later on in life through their taxes. We're just going to make them work two years more so that they have less of it to use when they do eventually retire. Hopefully that makes sense. And so that's kind of sort of what we're looking at. And he's basically giving himself one of two options and he's chosen one of them, but there are many different options you can go about to do this sort of thing. It's like the social security uh, debate here in the United States. Uh, the corrupt politicians would like to take away social, social security, something that the American people fought for and earned, and their reason for taking it away is, well, we don't have the money to pay for it. Well, we have the money to bail out these huge banks, which may be an entire separate video on its own when they, um, through extremely um, corrupted practices go down. We have billions of dollars to give to them. We have billions of trillions of dollars to give to the military. We can cut taxes for the rich all day long, but when it comes to a social program for you, oh, well, how are we gonna come up with the money? And if we do have to come up with the money, we're going to squeeze the mass of people by raising their taxes and not the people who actually have the money. And so, that's kind of what we have going on in France. And as a result of not um, allowing, you know, it's this manufactured consent through the media and the means that they have to do so, they would like to hide this sort of thing. They're not going to do reporting on it. And when they do, it's dishonest and disingenuous. And they're not going to give you the true story. And they're going to try to make it seem like the people in France are, uh, I don't know, spoiled or stuck up. I mean, just the ridiculousness of such remarks it, it really can't be understated but god knows what's going to happen um in france the people aren't letting up they've been on general strikes uh spanning days maybe even weeks now i've been trying to do my best to keep up with it but this is what the reaction should be when you, uh, the people in power try to screw the massive people over the massive people should come out and stand up and say no we're not going to take this. And the people all around the world, especially here in this country of America, can really look at this and get many ideas from it because we relate to these people more than many of us will ever know. Now, if you've made it to this portion of the video, um, and if you care, you may have noticed that I have been away from YouTube for some time. It's probably been a little bit over a month since my last video was uploaded and there are many reasons for that um work traveling 
uh, many miscellaneous things such as I recently got my motorcycle license and I purchased the motorcycle so if you've made it this far in the video and you like I said you care um, or and if you ride yourself um, comment let me know what you ride I'd be interested to know but anyway um, I tried to be uh, consistent here in this channel I was for a while and uh, like I said I kind of fell off for my own personal reasons but um, we hopefully will be back to our regularly scheduled program um, this world is I mean it is what it is and it forever keeps us on our toes so there will forever be things to talk about as long as we all exist here so thank you for watching this video um, please leave a like comment subscribe if you would and I'll see you again hopefully